Yeah, no, you played you played really good. You played really good, but you saw you saw the finish line and you got excited and you started reaching for it. You started reaching so hard for that finish line that you started playing bad. You gave up. You gave up what was working. You gave up what was working trying to just get that last hit, and that's what ultimately cost you the the match and and the uh, yeah, that's what caused caused you the match there. Um. So, I mean, like, it was so good. You played so good. And, it, and that's what hurts the most, is to see you play, go from playing so good to just taking that dive at the end there. Which, like, don't feel bad about that. Like, absolutely don't feel bad about that. that that's all part of playing these tournaments and, like, getting that tournament experience. Where, like, you get used to these situations where you want to win so bad that you have to put that into the back of your mind and continue to do what you know is right and what you know is, like, the correct game plan. Round one. It's really tough. It really is tough. Looks like I have the names backwards, but I'll fix that in a little bit as Mike is trying to show Kirby. Not Kirby, uh... Nuckfist, how to play the Akuma Guile matchup, but it's looking bad and he's just getting hit by everything. He's getting hit by absolutely everything. Because he doesn't have quite the air fireball spacing or the, uh, or the fake uh, throw baits. Let's play Zelix. He's catching. Catching Mike with. Literally everything. Round two. Fight. Oh, Rise the hit from the crashing medium kick that uh, messes it up. Mike, Mike, your Kuma is fraudulent. It is fraudulent. And it's, it's obvious you don't know what the hit confirms are. It's obvious that you don't know what the challenge buttons are. You get, you get that jump in though. That was a good jump in. Goes for the cross up. Oh, catches him with the frame trap. Alright, maybe it's, it's not as fragile as I first thought. Oh, man. I see the, the call out. In there, though. Oh, tries to catch the four dash. Is it fast enough? No, it's not fast enough. And Splice Steel is ready with a super punish. Taking game one. Now his Akuma's a fraud? Yeah, it's. Guile well, it's win. not as. It's. Alright, his Akuma's pretty fraudulent. It's pretty fraudulent. Alright. It's pretty fraudulent. But it's not as fraudulent as I first thought. Alright, when I first saw it happening, I was like. Fraudulent, like not even, not even close. Like, what are you even doing? Who do you think you are, Snake Eyes? All right, who do you think you are, Snake Eyes? But then, um, but it was looking pretty good. Like, honestly, I in the middle of that, it was, it was looking pretty decent. Like, he, he definitely has, he's definitely played a Kuma before. He's definitely played a Kuma before, which is, which is something, which is something, right? <laughs> I'm not saying that he necessarily practiced Akuma, but he definitely played him before. It's not like it's the first time that he picked Akuma. Because he's got some real things in there. It's ass. You can say it. Okay, it was terrible. What the hell are you doing, Mike? You know his guile is good. You know his guile is good. Did you expect? Did you expect him to pick Nash? Like, did you expect him to pick Nash and be able to beat his Nash with your guile or with your Akuma? Like, what are you doing? I understand this term doesn't mean anything, man. Oh, that was a great Larry though. Catching that fake block string. So good. Flex it on him. Oh, flex it on him! And then what the- what kind of aerospeedy is that? What is even going on? I'm telling you. 
I'm telling you, I watch these things happen and I see myself getting hit by everything. Everything that happens. I'm like, yeah, I'd get hit by that too. Yeah, I'd get hit by that too. Let me guess, he's good. Oh, I would I would have tried the jump. I'd get hit by that too. I wouldn't have gotten hit by that. I know better, no better than to press uh, block strings that don't quite hit. No better than that, but oh my god. Playing against Mike's teeth. Brutal. Oh, tries to catch a boon, gets him. Tries to get him with some big and then catches him with the dashes, and yeah, he's got enough V trigger to get that air SPD. SPD. What's he gonna be? Goes for the headbutt meaty, but too slow. Or too fast on it, lifts it. And then Lariat's right through. Right through. Flash Heal is going straight into that super to keep that flash safe as he gets the air throw. Into frame cramp, catches him with the super. Mike trying to press something. Flash is able to steal that round. Steal that round. Once again, this Lariat ain't that big, big block spring. Oh, good empty jump throw off of that flex. Mike a little bit uh, too slow with the uh, the hit part of that flex. Oh, and then messes up his uh, headbutt. Oh, and then that jump in a little bit too deep for that, uh, and you jab the hit, but, uh, Slice not ready for, uh, not ready for that combo. Oh, tries to catch the boom with the V-Trigger, but a little bit too far away. And Splice Helix looks like he might, uh, he might take the game. Working on it, almost. That time pressing the headbutt at the right time, but not getting anything off of it. Oh, empty jump EXSE. What's the mix up? What's it gonna be? Goes for the normal throw, but Splice not wanting to deal with any sort of mix up, just goes for the X flash kick. Guile win. Catching Mike, going up 2 0, threatening to reset that bracket. Threatening. Threatening to reset that bracket. You better not. Mike, you oh, better not let that bracket reset. Mike. If you, all right, let me put it this way, Mike. If you don't let the bracket reset, I will play you in a first to five. I'll give you, I'll give you that as an incentive. As Mike continues to get perfect. In, as he salivates at the thought of getting to play me in, in five straight matches of pure reads. That was a really good tick throw though. I, I will admit that was a really good tick throw. I'm surprised that he's going with the... Um, V trigger one. I mean, like V trigger one's like the better V trigger. But it's like I'm surprised that he didn't go for uh, super there. But yeah, and apparently it worked out as a uh, as Mike is now against the against the rope. Spice Kilix looking at that reset point, staring at a full stick of meter as he drops his combo, pressing the wrong button, pressing a jab instead of kicks. Oh, and then catch him with Fermate and the Super. Spice Helix looking too strong. Looking too strong. Mike not giving up though, he's fighting back. Goes for that headbutt. Tries to catch Splice in the air, but too far away. And now he's got Splice in the corner. What's it gonna be? Oh, get Flash Kick. That's what it's gonna be. The Splice Heal is threatening. Yeah, he gets it. He resets it. Mike loses out on his first five Dial against me. Win. You know what? It's not just his Akuma that's fraudulent. 
It's this geef that's fraudulent too. Yeah, yeah, he should have he should have lariated. Lariat and Ed. Lariat and Ed. Ed. Lariat. Other mirrors. Play Celix gets that bracket reset. As uh we'll see. Use Lariat. No, I, I like Lariat Tended. Like it's an extra Ed that I don't need, it's just Lariated. I like Lariated Ed. Nice. It just it just it just flows off the tongue, you know, just like Lariated Ed. -ed. Easy. <laughs> Please stop. It hurts. Uh, uh, you wanted to keep him in the corner? Yeah. I understand. I actually understand that more than anyone else, Mike. I understand more than anyone else. And Splice Helix, he's in trouble. He's in trouble right now. Getting dashed up SPD. That's, that's never a good sign for how the match is gonna go. Never a good sign. Oh, and then dashes right into that jump heavy kick. Oh, that's no good too. Oh, good back throw. Good back throw. Now, uh, Plus he has got a lot of room to work with. Mike going with that V-Trigger 2, which makes it, like, honestly, Mike in V-Trigger 2, even though V-Trigger 1 is definitely better for Geek, like, V-Trigger 1 is definitely better for Geek. Like, Mike, I think, benefits the most out of V-Tricker 2 because because he's so good. He's so good at getting that SPD that I think it just works out be better for him overall. Like, if they were both rebar, I would say that Mike would get better mileage off of V-Tricker 1. But since V-Tricker 2 is 2-bar, is since it's 2-bar, um, and he gets it earlier, it just means that he's going to be able to close out rounds before the other person can can really fix fix what he's doing wrong. As we see here, that Mike just just destroyed him. Destro like that wasn't even close. It wasn't even close. It wasn't even close. Mike, Mike starting that that bracket reset strong, going up one zero. Building, he's building meter for round oh, three. Sniffles. And then gets a great jump. That walk forward jump. So good. So good against Spliced. Personally, I would jump right away. There's the Lariat. Catch that jump. And a tick throw. Let me guess. EX flash kick? No. No, no, no EX flash kick. Alright, alright. Oh, tries ahead, but that, uh... That Sonic Boom went a little bit too late on that. He's hit. Now he's looking at the corner. Good, good th tech, throw tech, and into tech throw, and... Oh, that's enough! It's enough! Mike taking another round. Like some sort of... Brandy monster. Savageness. I'm, t I'm telling you, every single thing that I'm seeing here, I'm like, yeah, I'd get hit by that too. It is brutal. It just looks so brutal. It looks so brutal. So brutal. I would have picked another flash too, and then just catches him with the DX SPD. That doesn't even make any sense. That doesn't even make any sense. How did that medium kick, crash medium kick, and SPD even work? I mean, I understand that it moves his hitbox forward, but what even just happens? 
Yeah, he should have swept, swept the whip with Lariat, but Splice, do Splice doesn't even know what's happening right now. He's just getting hit by everything. He's just getting hit by everything. It doesn't even matter. Like, look. Mike is just gonna jump. No, he didn't even jump. I expected him to jump. I got hit by that dash up XP SPD too. Ugh. Okay, alright, he's, he's feeling himself just a little bit too much though, as he's starting to get hit by these booms, slow booms. Fly Steel is going like, wait a second, I'm Guile, I can just boom everything, but Mike's like, nah, I can SPD you straight through booms, because I'm Mike, I'm Zangief, Zangief top two. What is this Guile on some Punisher jump board out of that corner, what are you gonna do, just get hit. Drop combos doesn't matter because I can jump in on you. Round two. Vice Point. Helix looking like he's about to lose this tournament. I like that he's going with the boon game. Like I, he, he's trying to not be afraid. He's trying his absolute best to not be afraid. <laughs> Goes for the double head, but tries to SPD him out of the air, but a little bit too far away. Drops the combo again, but doesn't sleep. Tries to the back throw to catch uh, to put Geek back in the corner, but instead, Mike goes for the air SPD, but oh, messes up his uh, thing. Oh, oh no, oh no. He want he wants that SPD. He wants it so bad. He wants to finish it off with the air SPD, but then just just hit out of the ground. And he's gonna make me keep commentating for another round. Mike feeling himself just a little bit too much. Tries for that walk forward jump again, but this time Fly Steel is ready for it. Not ready for that jumping though. No combo out of Mike though. A little bit too far away to combo into that jab. Why is the cat Splice jump back a little bit out of range? Doesn't matter. matters, Mike's getting all the reads, getting that running bear grab, catching that! <laughs> oh. So brutal. So brutal. I can't even, I can't even commentate this, it just, it just hurts. It just hurts. <laughs> this, this is Mike. Mike plants a spliced helix tree.